chocolate. This is the pistachio chocolate. And this is Erdbeerminze. <laughs> Good morning! We are at Schiphol Airport and on our way to Baden-Württemberg, aka Germany. We're in Stuttgart and this is our lovely group. Hello everybody! <laughs> can, you, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Zoe and uh, happy to go on this trip with everybody. Nice yeah. to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, Zoe. Okay. Hi, I'm Frank. Can you see me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. I'm from Frey Magazine. Free Magazine. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julia from Hippenholz and I'm really enjoying this trip. Yay. Hi, I'm Denise and I'm from Cherylea. Very <laughs> nice to be here. <laughs> it's a super fun group. Oh, wait. Can you introduce yourself? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We're not Alexandra. finished. Hello, and Alexandra. I am from here, from Southwest Germany. And I hope that it will be sunnier today. <laughs> oh, tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow is going to be great weather. And awesome. you will enjoy the sunny side of Germany. <laughs> Thank you. We're very much looking forward to it. And this is our lovely driver. Hello. Oh, she has to keep her eyes on the road. Hello. I have to look in the yes, yes. Very good. <laughs> We have arrived at Hotel Hermann Gashthof. Yeah. You don't know that, but I can speak a little bit of German and I can understand quite a lot. And we're going to have lunch over here. Bring on the German food. And this is our table. Yo, dude, I wish I could let you smell the scent in this place because it smells so freaking delicious. So this is carrot coconut soup. This is going to be the main dish, a very, very traditional dish for this region, Baden-Württemberg. Alexandra, explain to us why it's special. The story is that um, during the period where we cannot eat meat, fasting, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the monks uh, yeah. wanted to eat meat, you know. <laughs> They hide meat in those big, big mountains. Yeah. Said, yeah, it's just vegetables. And then oh, they hid meat yes. in here. <laughs> oh wow, the sneaks. This is the vegetarian <laughs> version. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. I have to tell you something very special because this hotel doesn't only have like really, really good food, but like 90% of their uh, food is from this region. They only cook seasonal. They only get meat from this region, Baden-Württemberg. Um, they, um, they, how do you say that? They filter their water, so they are very, very environmental friendly. And they are part of a group of with 19 other hotels. Like, uh, what is it called? Biosphären Gestätte, if I say that correctly. And they are all like very much looking out for the environment which i can really really appreciate because it's good food too mm, awesome so now the tummies are full we are stuffed with good food what are we going to do next Alexandra? we are going to um to canoe and we are going to a place which is called uh, lauter valley. what lauter valley lauter valley yeah. getting ready for the canoeing over there and I'm just going to take over with the GoPro because I don't want you to get wet. Above all, it was very, very relaxing. And now we're going to do something super fun. We're going to a soap, that's okay, and chocolate factory soap. Oh yeah, we're here. And it's called Ihr Genuss Cafe or Your Pleasure Cafe. Hell yeah, because they have 
they have coffee, they roast the coffee, they make chocolate and they make soaps which is quite an odd combination but they probably have a good reason for that wait correction it is called Lagerhaus just so you know where you can find it oh look at this cute bridge man this is cute across the river and there's like a oh, this is so cute I think this is so typically German like the garden so you can sit in it and nearby the water love it wow it's so cute you have to see this I know I always say this like in France and everything but this is like German cuteness it's so freaking cute okay we should go upstairs let go let go let go oh my legs are still hurting I still have trouble walking dude I can't look at these chocolates like this is the pistachio chocolate and this is Erdbeerminze <laughs> they have different kinds of hot chocolate over here even white chocolate hot chocolate and I got the hot chocolate like the regular one with uh, masala spices so I don't know if it's any good it's a very very strange combo strange but good interesting i'm very addictive you keep drinking it also chocolate cake mm, look at this look at this oh yeah and zoe ordered the uh, i don't know what it is johannes beer something johannes beer cake Look at it, so freaking pretty with meringue on top. And we're gonna share, so I can try this one and this one. Mm. Very moist chocolate cake. It's not dry at all. And now I'm gonna try this one. So this is the one with Johannes beer or berries. And it has nuts, hazelnuts and uh, you see the meringue on top. Mm. Mm. I think this one's better, to be honest. It's really nice. It's really, really good. Mm. Wow. This is such an incredible special place. The owner uh, was just telling us that. Um, all the cakes that they bake here are made with spelt flour instead of the traditional wheat flour because spelt flour is the original uh, local um, product and even though it would be economically smarter aka cheaper to use wheat they're like no we want to use the local product and also they do everything organic and they are so passionate about what they do they, they do things because they love it like they started out making the soaps so here comes the soap chocolate connection and then the owner was like but I like chocolate too why should we make chocolate <laughs> and they started making chocolate I say this about almost every place I've been it's like it's so cute but like French cute is different and German cute is also very very different and this is so freaking German cute love it this is the owner and his wife and this is where they make the soaps and and then come ätherische öle and kräuter dazu and and then we make our seifen and oil with the, also natural oil from plants yeah we got it from plants Und einige äh, ätherische Öle machen wir hier selber, die äh, auf der schwedischen Alp wachsen. So da arbeiten wir mit Kräuter äh, und Bauern zusammen. So we get herbs from local farmers also, and we get the smell out of it in an oil also, so we can also put that in our soaps. Look at all these jars, man. How cool is this? Wow. Look at that. Lemon. And what else do we have? Genau. Das ist zum Beispiel jetzt eine Seife, die wird jetzt gepresst Valle, für ein großes Hotel. Of course I had to get some soap because they had some really really good smelling soaps man, seriously. So this is 
it's cinnamon mixed with lemon and usually I really really don't like lemon but this combo mm, and I'm gonna take the stove with me to India it's Oh, it's awesome. You need to visit this place. It's so special. Destination welcome center of the biosphere reserve area. So this is the start. Of Hold up. Wait a minute. Voice over takeover. I want to quickly explain to you what a biosphere and area is because actually it's a UNESCO label that you can request, but you only get it if your place, so for instance, baden württembergs forests, has very, very unique species and animals and plants in the world. And they got it. So it's quite a special place in terms of nature. In China, the famous panda bears is also a biosphere area. Or Ethiopia here. Dude, we have arrived at the place where we're going to spend the night and it's going to be such a interesting experience again. So look around me. And this is where we're going to sleep. It is a safari tent. And let me just show you around. So I already put my stuff inside. There's like this little kitchen area. Look over there. And then you have the bedroom and this is like literally like a tent this is very very interesting i'm looking forward to spending the night here because you know i love experiencing donkeys donkeys welcome to hopping boards my name is andreas hopmeier hello ich bin initiator dieser ferienanlage hello wir sind seit fünf jahren im betrieb wir sind eigentlich ein kind des biosphärengebietes Mm -hmm. sind mit mm -hmm. dem mm -hmm. Next to the safari tent, you can also sleep in a circus car cart thingy. Look at that. So every time there's one for sale in the world, they buy it, they renovate it, and you can sleep in it over here. So this place is called Hopfenberg from the top of my head. I will put the link down in the description below. This is where we're going to eat this cute restaurant. This is the buffet. Of course, we have delicious German bread. They are so good in bread making. Kartoffel salat, aka potato salad. Carrot salad. Ooh, lots of salads, man. I like that. I like that. <gasps> mm, is this Flammkuchen? Is it? Is this Flammkuchen? Um, no. It's called Schakuchen. Ooh, I like it too. I have to try quite it. Similar to. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Potatoes. Oh, lots of veggie options, man. I like that. Kartoffel salat, man. I love it. So good. I don't know how I forgot to film this wonderful man. He's our guide for today and he told us everything about the, the Biosphere. He knows everything. He grew up here. Thank you so much Thank for everything well. today. Yo, your girl is ready for bed. Yes, this is how I sleep with a panty hose on my head because I use a hairband to wrap my hair and get like the wavy curls I had this morning. And this keeps it all together. We were just brushing our teeth and we came, came back. <laughs> came across two guys, they were completely laughing at me. So this is the awkward thing of sleeping in the safari tent. But it's still like a freaking awesome experience. It's cold, it's really cold. Because like honestly, can you see this? It's just nothing. No isolation, nothing. It's very cold. And um, I have like two blankets like this which should be all right and i'm wearing a t-shirt underneath the only thing i'm not looking forward to is this i have an iphone charger literally getting lost in the hugo boss of my business. we're going to surinam